Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 4.2, example, or number 45. And I, I just want to point out that if, if you're struggling with this question, if you look at lecture 4.2, example 4, this is the exact same problem, just with different numbers. So with that, we were told the school population in 2004 was 1,001, and then in 2008, it was 1697, so I opted to use my base year to be 2000 in this problem. And the first question says, how much did the population change between those two years? Well, if I take a look at the difference in population, it grew by 696 people. Part B asks, how long did that take? Well, it took four years because we went from 2004 to 2008. If I wanted to get a, an average population growth per year, that is a slope. So I do the slope formula here in part C, change in Y over change in X, and there's 174. And again, the units on the numerator here are people. The denominator units are years. That's why you see me writing people per year. If I want to go ahead and find the population in the year 2000, right, a little bit before this, this problem started, what I want to do is get a function first. So you see me again calculating the slope, same thing I did in part C. But now I'm taking that slope, I'm taking that 174, all right, and I'm taking one of my ordered pairs. I opted to use the ordered pair for, oops, let me get the pink one, for 1001, and I'm plugging those in to my po point slope formula, and here I'm getting my linear model, all right? And so I'm going to write it up in fancy function notation with the letters given, so P for population and T for years. Right, so this becomes a P and this becomes a T instead of Y and X. But they asked me, what was the population in the year 2000? Well, since 2000 is my base year, that would technically mean T would be equal to zero. So when I plug that in, I get 305 people. So that's how many people were in this school in the year 2000. And then part E, it kind of goes out of order because it says, hey, find the linear function. Well, you have to find the linear function in part D. To, to answer the question in part D. So really, right here, this is part E. I always think they should ask that in the other order, but what are you gonna do? And then last but not least, it says, what's the population in the year 2011? Well, if my year is 2011 and my base year is 2000, if I wanna find my T value, you always do your current year minus your base year. And in this case, it's 11, which is why you see me plugging 11 in. And there we go with 2219. So I think the population will be 2219 people in the year 2011. All right, thanks so much. Bye.